Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams and today we're going to look at dollar and percentage returns on investment. Alright, so Sprint Nextel stock ended the previous year at $29.36 and it paid a $2.62 per share dividend. It ended last year at $24.89. So if you own 560 shares of Sprint, what was your dollar return and then our percentage return? So our dollar return is found by taking the ending value minus the beginning value. And then to that we have to add our income. And of course in this instance the income comes from the dividend. So ending value is going to be the price times the number of shares held. Beginning value price times the number of shares held. And income will be the dividend per share times the shares that you held. So our ending value in this case was the $24.89 and our 560 shares and then we had our beginning value of $29.36 times the 560 and then we had that $2.62 dividend. So originally it was worth $16,441 unfortunately it went down to $13,938.40 so we had a loss of $2502.76 but we recaptured some of that loss in the dividend income. But it left us with a dollar return of a negative $1,035.56. Now when we look at percentage return, we're simply going to take that dollar return that we just calculated, which was that negative 103.556, and we've got to divide it by the beginning value. And we calculated that beginning value to be the $29.36 per share and that came out to our $16,441.16 and we want to express this as a percentage so we're simply going to multiply it by 100%. So we came out with the negative 0.0698 times that 100% moves that decimal place over two spots. So from a percentage return perspective our percentage return was a negative 6.298%. So as always, I hope that you found this useful and thanks for watching.